Do you ever cross your legs? Do you do it all the time? You might want to think twice before doing it again. I'm Dr. Kelvin DeCairo, I'm the founder of You Chiropractic, and today I will show you why crossing your legs can be bad for your spine. Symmetry, a sense of harmonious and beautiful proportion and balance. When your left side equals to your right side, when your body weight is distributed equally and evenly. This isn't just good for your spine, it's also natural and attractive. Think of the wings of a butterfly, or your face and how it looks. You've got two eyes, two ears, 32 set of teeth, even your nose sits in the middle. Well, for most people it does. The lowest part of your spine is called your pelvis. Sometimes people use the word hips, but this is actually a mistake. Your pelvis loves symmetry, to look sexy, healthy, and to reduce the amount of strain and stress that you get from day-to-day -day life. There's two ways that people cross their legs. The first is with your leg horizontally across, and the second with your leg down at an angle. Both positions will place a huge amount of strain and stress into your pelvis because it twists and tilts your pelvis when your leg is in that position. In the short run, there shouldn't be any problems at all, but over time, it creates asymmetry and imbalance, and this can create stiffness in your hips, tight hip flexors, tight glutes, and even nerve pain down your legs. It freezes up your pelvis and your spine so that it becomes less flexible, more stuck. This can wear out your joints because of excessive pressure on your pelvis. And yes, I know it can feel really comfortable and that's why you do it. So here are some alternatives for you. Number one, get a chair that you can lean into comfortably. Most of the time you're crossing your legs, it's because you're leaning forward on your chair. Number two, use a footstool to rest your feet. With your legs up higher, you're not gonna be craving for a more comfortable position. Number three, and this is the best one, alternate sides when crossing your legs. Yes, you can still do it, just don't favor one side more than the other. Well, who says you can't eat ice cream and still lose weight? If you ask me, avoid the habit of crossing your legs when you can, especially on one side. But what about you? Do you know someone who loves crossing their legs? It's up to you to share this with them. I'm Dr. Kelvin DeCairo, and wishing you a healthier spine for a happier you.